Wow, the EV train is not stopping. Tesla today just announced that they are splitting their stock five for one. And uh, after that announcement, Tesla stock went up 6.5% after hours. And Airbnb just filed the IPO. They're going public later this year. And also Moderna just received 100 million doses of the Rona Rona vaccine from the Trump administration and they just reached that deal today so we have a lot to cover so let's just get into it by the way if you're new please remember to subscribe to my channel as i make weekly video about personal finance investment tip and content creation and remember to like this video as it really helps out my channel so as some of you have seen my last video about the chinese stock expung going public you can check it here a lot of hype right now is building up with the ev stocks and today, Elon Musk and Tesla board of directors just announced that they're splitting their stock one for five. What this means is if you have one share of Tesla, you'll get a dividend of four more shares. So you have five shares. Again, their business fundamental has not changed or anything like that. All it is is just they're making it accessible for more people. That way, more people can get in and invest into uh, Tesla. As you know, Tesla right now, they're the leading uh, EV automaker. And uh, with today's announcement, I believe their stock could go even higher. So really quick, let's just take a look at Tesla growth. Over the past one year, guys, just in the last one year, it went up 520%. And over the last five years, it has gone up more than 484%. I mean, there was a couple of dips a while back and I, I really missed that opportunity. And I thought it was too volatile. Okay, so currently I am not a Tesla shareholder, but after this announcement, it gets me really excited because I think long-term, imagine three years from now or five years from now, where will Tesla be? I mean, the Cybertruck is launching in uh, 2021 and uh, the hype is already building up like crazy. And with the Model Y, they're making it affordable. They just extend their range. So I've seen a lot of improvement that Tesla has been making. And also they have been profitable for the last four quarters and they qualified to be part of the S&P 500 now, which is a huge deal by the way. And another thing too is EV is future. Imagine you're the leaders of the EV uh, industry. Do you think Tesla will continue to go down in the next three to five years? I don't think so. That's the reason why I personally will start investing in Tesla stocks. My question to you is, do you currently own any Tesla shares? And if you do, let me know in the comment section below. All right, so let's talk about Airbnb. They're planning to go public later this year. And by the way, because of the pandemic, they had to cut their workforce by 25% or roughly about 1,900 employees from their payroll. That's pretty sad, but at the end of the day, it's their business. They need to cut costs for the company to sustain in the long run, Airbnb valuation has dropped about 42% from 31 billion now to 18 billion in valuation. They were planned to go public a while back in 2017. It didn't happen. So now they're finally is going public. Uh, they will go public later this year. So if you want to stay up to date, please subscribe to my channel, turn on that notification bell. Over the past two, three months, uh, they have been receiving about $2 billion uh, from some big investors. I will list them here. That means they should be able to go through this pandemic without going under. By the way, Airbnb CEO Brian Chesky told them in 2020, their revenue just got cut in half due to the pandemic. This makes sense because they need to raise money. A lot of people right now are not using their services. You know, people are not traveling, they're not going anywhere. I believe after this pandemic is over, people will get back to traveling. I mean, we are a social creature. So if they do go public, I, I'm predicting that stock will not do that well right now. I will definitely keep Airbnb on my watch list and see how things goes. This is a speculative stock just like some of the EV company and any company in general as they go public. 
Up next is Moderna stock. They just received $1.5 billion deal. The US government just ordered 100 million doses of the Rona Rona vaccine from Moderna. And of course, after this announcement, after hours, Moderna stock gone up more than 11%. By the way, the Moderna's price per dose is roughly about $30.50 per person for two doses. Vaccine is called mrna dash. 1273 it has reached its final stage of testing and they said it should be ready by the end of september which is very close uh, if you didn't know the u.s government has already invested one billion dollars with uh, moderna and this is additional 1.5 so this means that uh, they will receive roughly about 2.5 billion dollars from the u.s government uh, for this new vaccine. This stock has been on my watch list for a long time now. It's been hovering like around uh, $60. If you take a look over the past week, it actually went down um, by almost 10%. And over the last six months, Moderna stock has gone up more than 262%. Looking at one year chart, it has gone up 418%. And this vaccine is set to deliver by the end of this year. And this is a very promising vaccine but then again it's not confirmed that this will cure the virus maybe it helps but uh, we don't know yet but this is a huge deal for moderna because right now as of this recording they still have negative revenue by the way this is not only great for the stock because of course that's what we talk about here but let's not forget there are more than 5 million cases in the u.s alone and um, wherever you are watching this i hope you guys stay safe and stay protected wear a mask this would be a huge deal if it really help out uh, those people who are suffering man uh, this goes to show that you know life is not guaranteed this is like one in a century type of, of crisis personally i will start a uh, position with uh, moderna as well probably tomorrow or later this week i'm not gonna do a huge amount of shares but We'll start most likely a small position and uh, we'll see if it goes down, I will, uh, I will invest more into it. But if it keeps going up, I will consistently invest over time. I just want to bring this uh, quick update for you guys so you guys are aware. There are plenty of opportunity out there. You guys uh, just got to look for it. And of course, if this video helps uh, you and bring some awareness and if you find this video helpful, drop a like that would really help out my channel and push my content out to more people and help my channel grow as a small youtuber right now uh, i appreciate it i'm very close to 100 subscriber i just started a couple months ago uh, if you're new here hey welcome to my channel uh, by the way check out my other recent video here as i talk about uh, new ipos from um, from china and also apple stock split and uh, a bunch of other good stuff. Stay safe and I will see you in my next video.